Hello friends, my name is Shrenik Jain and in this video we will study about the JFET configuration and the last configuration we have is the VDC that is the voltage divider configuration. Now this is the circuit of the voltage divider configuration and in this video we have to do the DC analysis to find the various parameters and also we will do the design steps. So two things we will cover in this video. Now we can look at this circuit. Now you first know that the basics like this is the gate side, this is drain, this is source. Correct. Now this is the voltage divider configuration also in the BJT you have seen the same circuit instead of the JFET we had the BJT correct. Now here the important point is the voltage here we have is VG correct the voltage here we have is VD the voltage here we have is VS. The hidden voltages we have is plus minus VGS here we have plus minus VDS. So complete thing I have covered. Now. What you have to do? You have to find the various parameters. Now the first point is you have to find the extra parameter like VG. How you can find the VG by the Thevenin logic? So I have already covered the Thevenin logic. So what is the Thevenin logic? If you don't know the Thevenin logic, please do watch my BJT videos. I have covered in depth there. So when we talk about the Thevenin logic, we have to find VG. Now VG is equal to VDD into we have resistance by resistance. So numerator is that resistance that is connected to the ground. So we have R2, then we have the total resistance in the de denominator that is R1 plus R2. So that was the first step that is the extra additional step that is to find the value of VGS. Now the second step is very simple like we have did in the previous video as well that we have to find the value of VGS. Now this we can find by writing VGS is equal to VG minus VS. Why we did this because we have already found the value of VG in the first step. So we can split this VGS is equal to VG minus VS. Now look at the value of VS in the question. VS is present here. So if you apply KCL here, you will get the value of VS as VS is equal to IDRS. So VG minus IDRS. Pretty simple, correct? Now the third step is we have to find the value of ID. This is by the Shockley equation that is ID is equal to IDSS into 1 minus VGS upon VP the whole square. Now the fourth point is you have to find the value of VDS. How you can find the value of VDS? Apply KVL to the this loop that is the drain source loop. If you apply KVL here you will get the value of VDS like VDD minus IDRD minus VDS minus IDRS is equal to 0. You can see VDD minus IDRD minus VDS minus IDRS is equal to 0. By rearranging this you will get the value of VDS here. So these are the three important parameters how we can find that but when we talk about this there is one more step involved that is finding the value of VG. So the Thevenin logic came in the picture and I hope you like these steps because these are the pretty simple steps and this will help you to solve maximum sums. So now we have to do the design step. Design means you have to find the resistance and the voltages correct. Now the first important point is the resistance that is you have to find R1, you have to find R2, you have to find RD, you have to find RS. Now this is important because R1 and R2 are pretty interesting because in every question there is a unique way to find R1 and R2. One of the way to find R1 and R2 I am covering in this video. More such ways how to find R1 and R2 will be covered in the future video by taking and solving many sums. Alright, so in this video you can see that I1 is flowing here, I2 is flowing here so that you can apply the KCL. If you apply the KCL here, what you will get I1 is equal to we have VDD minus then we have VG upon R1. So in this way you will get one equation in terms of R1 and R2, correct? Now you need one more equation. How you will get apply KCL here? So it would be I2 is equal to VG minus 0 upon R2. So you will get one more equation between R1 and R2. So two unknown two equation you can get the value of R1 and R2. So this is one of the way how you can find the value of R1 and R2. So I hope you like this because there are many such tricky ways to find the values of R1 and R2 because then it would be dual voltages or three power supplies there can be variety of questions. So I will cover that now you have to find two resistance more that is RD and RS. 
the logic is simple to find the values of rd rs you have to apply the kcl rule now the kcl rule is apply the kcl here then you will get vdd minus vd upon rd is equal to id so in this way you can get the value of rd similarly apply kcl here then you will get vs minus 0 upon rs is equal to id so in this way you can get the value of rs so kcl is the key to find the value of resistances so in this video we have seen about the jfet voltage divider circuit and then we have found the various parameters using the dc analysis and then we have seen the design steps how to find the resistances now the last thing we have to do is to find the voltages correct so the voltages we have is vg we have vs we have vd so this is the last thing of this video and you know that vg we have already found in the first minute of the video that vg is used by the thevenin logic we can find the value like vdd into we have uh, vdd into we have r2 by r1 plus r2 correct now vs we can find correct vs we can find by this logic vs and vd are found by this logic like vds is equal to vd minus vs and this like vgs is equal to vg minus vs so this logic we use now from this logic you can get the value of vs as vgs uh, vg minus vgs correct vg minus vgs so in this way you can find the value of vs after finding vs substitute here so that you can get the value of vd as vds plus vs so i hope you like this video तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट